What if AI gave you the wrong answer? Would you even know? What if you doubted an answer, but the response you got was, because AI said so. Just a couple of days ago, I wanted to check some data on the International Mathematical Olympiad. Specifically, how many students scored the same or better than AI? I confidently asked ChatGPT and it told me 67. It sounded right. I trusted it. I even recorded my podcast using that number. But something made me double check and thank God I did. Then I checked Croc. Hmm. So I went back to the basics. I went to the Olympiad's official website and the real number was 72. I've had smaller wake up calls before, but this one was my biggest so far. It reminded me of two things. AI can be wrong. And number two, always, always fact check your work. Hi, I'm Sukirti Gupta and welcome to AI Basics, where we make AI simple and real. Can AI be wrong? Yes, and surprisingly often. Studies show AI can be wrong 10 to 60% of the time, depending on the engine, the complexity of the question, and even how the prompt is phrased. These mistakes may be embarrassing, but AI's mistakes can cause serious credibility damage. Anthropic lawyers used Claude, their own AI, and what happened is they cited fake court cases. Cases that did not exist. The attorney called it an embarrassing and unintentional mistake. This is from the makers of one of the leading AI companies. The Chicago Sun-Times made up book titles in its summer reading list. It was highly embarrassing when readers caught the error. They lost total credibility. Even I've been there many times. Let me give you another example. I wanted to understand XAI's Grox funding. So I asked ChatGPT, Perplexity, DeepSea. They all gave different answers. So first we had fake news. Now we may even have to deal with fake AI. A study was done by the Columbia Journalism Review in March 2025. They tested eight major AI tools regarding citations, including ChatGPT and Gemini. And what did they find? Over 60% of the answers were wrong or misleading. Perplexity was more accurate, but still wrong 37% of the time. Some models had error rates as high as 94%. On further digging, here's what I've learned. Even the best AI tools are just not perfect yet. There is an error rate between 5 to 20% on simple factual questions and up to 40% on complex reasoning tasks. What was my lesson? AI doesn't verify facts. It predicts what sounds right. Let's go a little bit further. AI can not only be wrong, but it can also be biased. Take Grok, Elon Musk's chatbot. Just weeks ago, Grok was doing an amazing job, fact-checking political claims. Then after an update, it started praising Hitler and even encouraging political violence. This wasn't just a glitch. It showed us all how easily AI can be manipulated by the people controlling it or the data that it is trained on. Now Elon Musk is launching virtual AI friends, bots that sound like your buddy or therapist. And what if these friends start slipping in harmful biases? If we can't predict how these systems behave, should we trust them blindly? Why would AI lie? The simple answer is, it doesn't lie on purpose. But it can sound like it's lying because of how it's built. AI chatbots like ChatGPT or Gemini are powered by large language models. These models don't understand facts like humans do. They are super smart autocomplete, predicting the next word or sentence based on patterns in the data they've seen before. So if the data is wrong or incomplete, the output will also be wrong, but delivered with utmost confidence. It's like a student who didn't study but writes an essay with convincing sentences, all made up. Basically, garbage in, garbage out. So if AI can be wrong, why do we trust it so much? 
The first is authority bias. AI speaks with confidence, writes with confidence. It's like a know-it-all expert. We're wired to believe anyone or anything that sounds sure of itself. Number two, the fluency illusion. AI's answers are smooth, they're polished, they're well-structured. We often mistake this fluency for accuracy, thinking if it sounds so perfect, it must be true. And number three, we are in awe. AI feels like magic, especially for us and our kids. And when something amazes us, our instinct to question slows down. We trust AI not because it's always right, but because it sounds right. So how do we use AI smartly? Number one, number one, always verify facts. Treat AI's answers as a starting point, not the final truth. If it's important, cross-check it, just like I did with the Olympiad data. Number two, ask clear, specific questions. The quality of your prompt shapes the answer. If you give an ambiguous prompt, you will get an ambiguous reply. If your question is vague, AI will start to make guesses or make assumptions. Number three, know AI's limits. Know that AI doesn't understand like humans. It predicts patterns from past data, AI hallucinations. Sometimes AI generates confident but wrong answers, especially when the topic is obscure or poorly documented. So what should smart people do? They don't just use AI. They know to double check it. AI is powerful, but it's only as smart as we are. If we stay curious, question its answers, and verify facts, AI becomes a tool that works for us, not something we blindly trust. If you like this episode, please share it with someone who's exploring AI tools and tell us, has AI ever given you a wrong answer you believed? We'd love to hear your story.